Later on in the afternoon, Bronson started to play up again. His inability to communicate with his parents to the point where they understand him is creating these meltdowns. And really, Mum needs to understand that. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, because he's talking to you. OK, calm down. When he's shouting, just come down and listen to him. Okay. When you don't understand what he's saying, just tell him that I don't understand you, I can hear you. And that way we can get him to start talking. Right you see this table here? So I've created this space for them to be artistic and stop the vandalism. And then it was time for me to move on to more important factors. Next, what I really want to do is concentrate on Hunter's homework. He has ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and it can be very challenging for him to focus at any length of time, which creates a lot of frustration between himself and his parents. Right, Hunter, this is what I've got here, OK? Homework tips. Guess who they're for? No, Mum and Dad. <laughs> Listen and be patient. Ask what you can do to help. Lots of praise for what a good job. What do you think about those, Hunter? You think Mum and Dad need them? Yeah, give me five. All right. Oh. Hunter was so excited that, you know, we had homework tips too. So whilst I went into the living room to play with Bronson, Dad sat down to do a math assignment with Hunter. I actually thought it would go pretty easy considering the tips were right in front of him. Which one's higher, 2.6 or 2.5? This one is higher. 2.5. Seven is wrong, and I want you to tell me why after we, you Seven redo this. Seven is wrong. It's wrong. Pay attention to me, please, because this is, this, is, this is what you don't understand. Yes, I do. Dad was already forgetting the first tip, to be patient. And he and Hunter were getting more and more frustrated. I didn't know about that. Hold on, you're, now you're arguing. Would you like to sit in time out? No, this is your final warning. This is your final warning. This is, no, I'm going to correct him. You're ripping my paper. No, I'm not moving your paper. You're moving it. I'm not moving my hand. You're trying Look to right grab there. it. See, that's what you did. Come on, let's go. No, yes, no, let's go. Let's no. go. Let me do my homework. Let's go. Let me do my let's go. Homework. Not only did Dad lose his patience, but he escalated the problem by placing Hunter into a penalty box. Dad really needs to understand how difficult it is for Hunter because he's got ADHD. And quite frankly, I think he overreacted. I do need to step back in. In this particular circumstance, this would have been about giving him space to just cool off. OK, because at this stage, you both are feeling agitated. This is a no-win situation here. Okay. We want a win-win always. After our little chat right. in the kitchen, I saw a marked difference in Dad and a different response from Hunter. Let me have you tell me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> the homework tips definitely help you with, with a, a child with ADHD. Be patient. That's the number one thing. OK, we got 2.3. And then 2.9 2. 2. 9 is the next one. Now Dad was concentrating on the tips, it was helping Hunter to stay focused on his homework. 3.2 and 3.5. Everything is perfect on that one right there, OK? At first, my dad didn't listen when I was doing my homework, and then he wouldn't be patient. Zero. Because that's a zero, that's a less, and that's a three. Perfect. I showed him what to do, so then he was listening and being patient. That's it, dude. Done? Done. Well done, the pair of you. Seriously. <laughs> Later on in the afternoon, Bronson started to play up again. <laughs> his inability to communicate with his parents to the point where they understand him is creating these meltdowns. And really, Mum needs to understand that. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, because he's talking to you. OK, okay. calm down. Right. When he's shouting, just come down and listen to him. Okay. When you don't understand what he's saying, just tell him that I don't understand you, I can hear you. And that way we can get him to start talking more. Engage in that conversation. Yeah, because start. when he feels like he's ignored, it he freaks is. him out. Okay. I really wanted Mum to recognise the importance of spending time with him. Did he do that? I'm really doing all the things that are key to his early development. This little one needs time. Okay. And just sitting down and having a conversation and having him watch your mouth. I believe that a lot of Bronson's aggression comes from the fact that his parents don't understand what he's saying and he gets frustrated. Jojo's t-shirt is what colour? Wow. It's red. His speech is slightly delayed. His pronunciation is not 
not as good as what it could be. And your t-shirt is what colour? Blue. Blue. B. Say B. B. Eye contact and being repetitive with your vocabulary. Blue. That's the only way, really, that we see children enhance in their vocabulary and speech. Oh, McDonald's. I'm a wag, wag, wag. Oh, old McDonald's. Oh, old McDonald's. You said old. Oh, McDonald's. I'm a wag, wag, What's JoJo's mouth? Old. You say old. Oh. It was really interesting when Joe and Bronson were working together that he placed his hand over her mouth. Old. old. Good boy. Mac. Donald. Donald. <laughs> that moment for me was, was very special. Oh, you need to be doing this. You know, you see what this young boy is capable of doing if the parents only just put that time in. That's, that's precious. Watch JoJo's mouth. Three. Joe made a correlation between Bronson's aggression and his speech development. So that's been, you know, a big eye opener for us. Three. You say three. We could understand what he was trying to say. It made me feel really good, and I know it did to him, too. Five. Five. Give me five. Right on.